Shipyard Brewing Company is a family-owned brewery rooted in tradition and brimming with innovation. Shipyard's award-winning beer is carefully handcrafted a team of talented brewers who learn the fine art of brewing from world-renowned master brewer, the legendary Alan Pugsley. Each year, Shipyard serves up more than 20 varieties of award-winning handcrafted beer. Tonight, Dirty Water TV along with Shipyard Brewing Company takes you to Narragansett Bay and the Tipsy Seagull in Fall River. Come party, Shipyard style, Dirty Water TV is next. We love Dirty Water, Dirty Water TV! TV. Going worldwide, Dirty Water. And I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Julia Scaparotti. And I'm your girl, Kim from 103.3 Amp Radio. And we are at... The Tipsy Seagull. And it's really like tipsy because we're... <laughs> it's a bar on a boardwalk. It is insane. It's so much fun. And of course, we're here with Shipyard. Shipyard Brewery. Thank you so much. And we love you. <laughs> we're here for the third annual Grand Prix boat race with Fall River and it's amazing. The boats are huge. Some are really small though and they go really fast and I would love to go on one so invite me next time. They I go really like appreciate 140 that. miles per hour. It's insane. It's insane. So we're going to interview some of the drivers of the boats. Yes we will. And the owner of the Tipsy Seagull. We love you guys. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Yeah so we have a great show for you. Here's what's on tap. We'll take you to the annual Miss Cape and Islands Bikini Contest. Then we're off to Narragansett, Rhode Island for Bacardi Summer Bar Blitz. And we'll go inside the Tipsy Seagull and sip some ice cold Shipyard Island Time IPA beer. But first, we're off to Hyannis Marina to hang out at Trader Ed's pool party. But what for though? Mikey V was there for a bikini contest. Ooh. I wonder if he found his girlfriend. Ooh. That's right. Thank you guys. It's Mikey V from Kiss 108 and Dirty Wire TV enjoying a beautiful day right now. Trader Ed's, the ninth annual Miss Cape and Island competition. Kind of crazy. One lucky girl won a $6,000 grand prize. The rest of us, including myself, will enjoy some amazing views. Let's grab a shipyard brew and get this party started. right here. Now she's looking even better in a bathing suit, huh? Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Contestant number two right here, Sabrina, smiling, enjoying life. There we go. Well, if the girl is single, does that add more points for you? Yes, absolutely. This is contestant number three, Rue. Definitely knows how to dance. That adds a couple points. There we go. Trader has clearly a spot to be right now. So Christina is contestant number four. Yeah, all the way from Miami. Used to work out here in the Cape. Definitely a fan favorite right now. Test number six right here, Rachel. Great smile, have a good time today. Do you have a favorite right now in the competition? I'd say number six. A good what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, she's got a good face, she's got a little freckle. She's, she's he's, like, he's like, she has a great personality. They haven't even talked yet. Huh? If you win, all this money, what are you gonna spend it on? Good stuff. I would pay off my student loans, take myself to Vegas. I would donate some of it to St. Jude. Buy everyone around and then I'd pay off some student loans. You have a favorite in the contest today. A favorite, she's number 10. She was our waitress yesterday, she's amazing. And you know what, she represents the cake. Do you have a favorite right now? Number 10 is my favorite. She is perfect. And the winner of the ninth annual Miss Cape and Islands contest is number four, Christina. I feel happy, I feel very thankful for this support. What do you think you're gonna spend this money on? I'll tell you what, um, people were always very kind to me. 
So every time when I help out somebody, the money comes back to me. This is how it works. And this is the biggest pleasure when you're able to help others and to do nice things, you know, like help your family, help some homeless people, just, just do things around because um, this is how the world works. She came here to visit and won the contest. It's, it's a great summer in the Cape. We're having a great summer. Look, you know, we got the weather, we got the coldest bear in Cape Cod. This is the best bar on Cape Cod. A big congrats to you. Thank you for having the best bar in Cape, man. We really appreciate you having us. TV. What an amazing day we're here at Trader Ed's, the only place to be in the Cape. Big thank you to Shipyard for throwing this massive party for all of us. Great sights, great times, a lot of money. It's Mikey V reporting for Dirty Wire TV. We're at the boat race in Fall River with Jimmy. How would you describe this race to someone that's never been here? This is a wonderful event. Um, it's great for the community, it brings a lot of uh, monetary investment into town. Um, We've got quite a few spectators here. We've, I know we've had 70,000 people come through the city over the weekend. However, I believe the number will be a lot larger when the final tally comes in. Water conditions are very smooth. So you're gonna see some really high speeds out there today. Um, the boats we just saw go by are probably running in the 140s. Um, we're in the extreme class. We're the biggest boats here, the fastest boats here. We set our boat up to run about 170 miles an hour today. On uh, some courses we will run faster. However, due to the uh, length of the course, we're gonna want more acceleration off the turns. So how does someone train for something like this? That is insane, aren't you terrified? <laughs> you need to be part pilot, part race car driver, and obviously have, um, I mean, you just take, I took the fish to water. Some people get into boats and, you know, aren't happy, don't like to go fast, and I just happen to like the G-forces. I like the sensation. They're loud, it's loud. I can't, I can't <laughs> describe um, what a rush it is to run this boat. I wish everyone had an opportunity to try it. I mean, some people are going to get in a boat and be like, wow, this is me. Other people get scared. But yeah, I was going to ask you to take me with you, it. but... <laughs> I'd, love to have, I'd love to have you both on board. Here with Alex and Ani. You know, I'm, re I'm really fortunate because I've got a fabulous sponsor, Alex and Ani, who's a local company. Um, they're in, and they're an environmentally, environmentally conscious company. Um, it's great for the community here. Fall River is like undergoing a resurrection. Oh, I love the Riff. We good. <laughs> All we've got is good responses from everyone. They're happy to see us. Yeah. And they really rolled out the red carpet. It's humbling. It's actually humbling to see, you know, how loved we are. And well, we love you, yes. You're very yeah, loved. I love, you also. I love your glasses, man. Are you going to wear those when you race? Thank you. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Absolutely, I, I will. think all three of us have pretty good time. Yes, and we're all going to go on the boat with you, and it's going to happen. So enjoy, stay tuned. enjoy the show. We're going to put on a good one. We love you. Thank you so I much, Jimmy. You. Thank you. Mwah. Good luck. <laughs> Up next, we'll take in the sights, the food, and ice cold beverages at the Tipsy Seagull. We, we love, love the Tipsy! Tipsy. Woo! That's when Dirty Water TV presented by Shipyard Beer returns. What do you have going on in the restaurant? September 9th, um, we're gonna, we have a pretty big milestone to celebrate. So the 99 started in 1952, we've been in business. So do the math, that means we're 65 years young this yeah. year. Not 65 years old. <laughs> I mean, look around at this restaurant and bar. We're calling it a retirement party. <laughs> yeah, then we're going to call this an anti-retirement <laughs> party. We're not retiring, we're not going anywhere, no, you know. Not. We've spent three and a half years fixing up our restaurants, remodeling, refreshing them. We have a great new menu that people like. So we're gonna celebrate our anti-retirement on September 9th, 9-9, 2017. Saturday in all of our restaurants, September 9th, it's our anti-retirement party. So come on down, I guarantee you'll have a good time. All right, I'll be there. I'll definitely be there. 99 restaurants, always the real deal. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Julia Scaparotti. And I'm your girl, Kern from 103.3 Amp Radio. We are at the Tipsy Seagull. It is the best bar in the Riv, Fall River. <laughs> what you know, we are here for the third annual Grand Prix boat race, and the fastest boats are about to come our way, and we have the owner right here with us. We love your bar, man. Well, thanks for coming. Yeah, tell us all about the bar, like how it originated, what's the dealio here? I mean, we're here at Shipyard, obviously. Well, we're at Shipyard. They've been an unbelievable sponsor for us. This is the only floating bar in Massachusetts. It started out as my houseboat 20 years ago. Seriously? Seriously, and now this is our ninth year. Do you still sleep here some nights? <laughs> That's a hard yes. I'm not gonna answer that. <laughs> so obviously there's so many people here, everyone loves it. Obviously it's a floating bar. What else can you talk about with the bar exactly? Well, it's, it's, it's unique, we're only open in the summer. Uh, we put a second floor on two years ago. It's you're literally, when the waves rock, you rock. 
and the boats, how fast do these guys go? The class coming up now is Miss Geico, Alex and Ani was up there from Georgia, Florida, St. Louis, Missouri. They'll reach top speeds about 175 miles an hour. Wow. Have you ever been on one of these boats? Yes, we own one. The Seagull Sizzler. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not <laughs> no, 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 no big deal. <laughs> Seagull Sizzler is out there on a pace boat, and the designer of the boat is running it. We had about 15,000 people watching the race wow, today. Wow, wow. There's 2,000 boats in the bay, and then the rest are spread throughout the city. So we're at the Tipsy Seagull, but right up the street is the Tipsy Toboggan, right? Is that yes. open year round? Correct. That's another restaurant we have up the street. It's open year round. And uh, that has a massive natural wood burning fireplace, hanging uh, chandeliers out of antlers. So it's a different theme and it's got that winter mood. And what kind of food do you serve there? There it's uh, specialized with steaks and chicken. All right. <laughs> I'm not the chef. <laughs> he just eats there and enjoys it, that's all. <laughs> build it and I can drink there. I can't cook there. There you go, that's what we like to hear. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much yes, for having us. You. And it's, this is a crazy experience. It's a lot yeah. of fun. All Let's right. go. Well, thank you so much. Up next, we're off to Narragansett, Rhode Island for a Bacardi Summer Bar Blitz. That's when Dirty Water TV, presented by Shipyard Beer, returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Julia Scaparotti. And I'm your girl, Krim from 103.3 Amp Radio. We are hanging out at the Tipsy Circle. So much fun. So much fun. And we're hanging out for Fall River's third annual uh, Grand Prix boat race. It is insane. It's awesome. We're drinking Shipyard Ice Pick. How was your drink, Krim? <laughs> Just got to taste it. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very refreshing. So thank you to Shipyard for being here. And we're off to Narragansett, Rhode Island for Bacardi Summer Bar Blitz. I am super stoked to be hanging out in Narragansett, Rhode Island the entire weekend. We're going to toast the Blessing of the Fleet Festival with our good friends at Bacardi. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to kick it off right behind me at George's Bar and Grill, and then we're going to send it over to Oceanside, and we're going to circle back around to the Coast Guard House. It's going to be an epic summer party, like I said, with our good friends at Bacardi. So let's come on, hang out, let's have some fun. The Narragansett Lions Club held its first Blessing of the Fleet in the summer of 1972. Over the years, it has grown into a beloved two-day festival that includes an officially sanctioned road race, a festive parade of boats, great food, live music, and thousands of friendly people making amazing new memories. We make our first stop at George's, overlooking the Block Island Sound and picturesque fishing port of Galilee. George's of Galilee Waterfront Seafood Restaurant has been serving generations of families and its award-winning signature dishes since 1948. I am here with Bar Manager James of George's right on the water. You guys have your own private beach. We've got a private beach right out back. We've got our own private parking right there too. So instead of coming in to sit and dine, you can just go right outside to the takeout window, grab the food you want, take it back to the beach. Uh, we even have beach service. We have girls that come right out to your towel on the beach, take your order and take it right back to you. We've got the uh, steamed lobster with a 14 ounce ribeye cooked any way that you want and then that steamed lobster goes anywhere from a pound and a quarter all the way up to our King George of the day which is the largest lobster that we have. On um, any given day that guy ranges from three, four, five, I've seen six, seven pound lobsters come through here. We are here with my man Jake behind the bar. Take me through what type of concoction you're making right now. We're throwing a Bacardi strawberry lemonade. We got a couple of, uh, strawberries in there. I'm gonna muddle up with some lemon. We're gonna go with the Bacardi. Great summertime drink. The good stuff. The ladies love it. Shake it up real good. Pop it off right up top. Fill the rest of it with ice right up top. Throw some lemonade. Strawberry right on there. Call it a day. Just wanna hear a lot of love when you sip that. I know you said the ladies love it, but the men do. But too. the guys love it too. It's a 10 out of 10. It is delicious right there. Thank you so much. We're gonna hop inside Oceanside, right behind me. Gonna have some fun with our good friends at Picardi. Let's check it out. When planning your perfect summer day, look no further than the Oceanside, where you can come enjoy fresh local seafood and cocktails on their deck or Oceanside Dining Room overlooking Narragansett Beach. It's a great laid back atmosphere, a lot of locals, a lot of fishermen, a lot of uh, surfing people. I like that. Yeah, tourists galore, you know, we have a good time here. Absolutely. It's, it's spread smiles, you know. That, I like that, spread smiles, that should be your slogan that's, right there. It, it, Absolutely, it's a great Friday night spot, the ambience is unbelievable, I love it. 
But on top of that, you guys have a delicious menu. Yeah. I kind of dabbled a little bit before. Take yeah. me through some of your seafood. I know you guys have a great seafood menu. What so do you guys got? About five miles down the road is uh, all the, the lobster boats come in. We get our lobsters there every day, all the local fish. We have a great raw bar. We have all local oysters from the, all, uh, the oyster farms around here. And uh, yeah, you can't get any fresher than, than being right here. And We're right on the water. You wouldn't think you guys have a delicious pizza out here. We have a nice crispy thin crust pizza. Margarita pizza is one of our specialties. You guys have delicious drinks. So what would you recommend to put some Bacardi Oakard in? We have, uh, tonight we have Norm trying to slip through here. <laughs> Norm, say what's up, Norm. Boy, Norm right here. How are we doing? How's it going? Norm actually made this beer? great drink right here. You Talk know? It, I was going to say, Norm, you want to take us through it? Actually, you know, this uh, delicious Bacardi Ocar is really good. We did a Bacardi with a pineapple and blue carousel, which is so good. But yeah, it's beautiful though. Oh, that's a beautiful looking drink, and it's a beautiful tasting drink right there. But be careful, because it's fairly strong. Yeah, a little strong. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Well, thank you guys so much. We are on our third and final stop of the night. As you can see behind me, the Coast Guard house. Bacardi is still hanging out with us. I haven't drove him away yet. Let's head inside, see what they got to offer. The Coast Guard House restaurant established itself in the 1940s and is revered for serving locally harvested seafood. Over the past decade, they have been recognized on a state and national level as a premier dining destination that offers stunning and unrivaled views of the Pierre District's historic Narragansett Bay. I am here with my man Robert, co-owner of the Coast Guard House. This place is beautiful. The ambiance is unbelievable. The Coast Guard House was originally built in 1888 as a U.S. life-saving station, uh, and it was that until the 40s when it became a restaurant. So it's not just fun here. We got a lot of history behind us, too. Absolutely. I love it. So you guys have a fabulous menu, drinks and food. Just kind of take me through your menu. Food first. We're going to start there. What's the best thing on the menu? Seafood. Seafood is undoubtedly the best thing on the menu, probably the scallops. I'm a big Bacardi guy. What are you going to put my Bacardi in? Uh, we're probably going to make you a rum runner or something of that sort. We've been using Bacardi products for years. Uh, great company. Uh, they're always changing things up and innovating. We're happy to partner with them and uh, entertain you guys this evening. It's been a great night at the Coast Guard House. All the girls are chasing me. I'm out of here. That does it for night one. Day two, our summer Bacardi tour rolls on at Patty's Beach Club. We're going to go inside, check out what's going on there. We're going to look at the menu, eat some delicious food, see what's going on behind the bar, and really dive into it. Let's go have some fun. Summertime just doesn't get any better than Patty's Beach Club, where you can literally put your toes in the sand while enjoying award-winning specialty drinks. We are here with my favorite bartender of the weekend, Jen. We're obviously here with Bacardi. What would you put Bacardi in? My favorite Bacardi drink that we have is our banana butt, which is a Bacardi banana, uh, butter shots, and some Carolina Irish cream. Blend it up, put a little chocolate sauce in there, whipped cream, and get wild. Now this is the first frozen drink of the weekend I've had. I mean, that's, that's delicious. It's a 10 out of 10. That passes all the tests right there. Patty's Beach Club is a very unique spot. We're able to take the property and cater to all different types of people on one property. So we have an ocean lounge where we have uh, chaise lounges and we can serve you right in the sand. And then we can transform over to a raw bar area, cocktails, a restaurant. And then on the weekends when we really want to kick it, we got Tiki Beach where national DJs come in, 12 cabanas, a couple of beds in the sand. So whatever you need, we have. What's your favorite thing on the menu? We've actually brought in this big old smoker and we started to play and now we make our own pastrami here. I know we're on the beach, but we have pastrami that'll beat anybody's pastrami around. We smoke everything we can in there, chicken wings, pastrami's, pulled pork, fish that we catch at sea. So whatever we have, we can smoke. I saw some calamari as I was walking yeah, yeah, by. Yeah. It looked to die for. When you eat it, it's light. It goes in your mouth, it crunches, it's not soggy. Yeah. I'm a big Bacardi banana guy. It's this new thing came out this summer. What are you putting the Bacardi banana in? Oh my God, I, I, what do I put in it? Oh, yeah. I put anything I can <laughs> in it. Ice and the Bacardi banana, that's all I need. Thank you so much to all our venues. I had so much fun. I hope you had just as much fun as I did. Until next time, I'm Kyle Wakefield. That was Dirty Water TV. Up next, more from the Tipsy Seagull as Dirty Water TV presented by Shipyard Beer returns. If this is still eight times, this is unbelievable.
What's up, Amanda? Hey, Sam, how are you? I'm all right, but summertime's here. I'm stressing about money. Well, have you heard about findmassmoney.com? No. Massachusetts State Treasury has about $2 billion in unclaimed funds. About one in every 10 people has a chance of finding some of that money. So you're telling me if I go to www.findmassmoney.com, I could have some sort of hidden treasure? Exactly, you have a great chance. <laughs> This summer's gonna be good. Listen up, you could be one of more than 600,000 people with unclaimed funds. Go to findmassmoney.com or dial 1-88-344-MASS and find mass money today, bruh. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Julia Scaparotti. And I'm your girl, Krim from 103.3 Amp Radio. We are hanging out at the Tipsy Seagull. It is going down for the 11th annual Fall River Grand Prix boat race. It is insane here. We got Jason with Shipyard. And we love your beer and we love your vodka. Tell us all about it, Jason. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, it's great for you guys to be down here. Love working with Dirty Water TV. We always have a blast. So um, today the race, we're one of the sponsors here for the race. Um, we've been working with the Tipsy Seagull and doing a lot. They're one of our biggest accounts for the uh, island time for Shipyard. Nice session IPA. So we're kind of wrapping up the summer here, getting into our fall beers. And we're also introduced our new vodka that we're working with. Oh, yeah. um, Which I'm ice. drinking right now. Let me grab it for you, hold on. I'm double fisting at this moment. Let's go. I like it. Ice, ice pick. pick. Ice <laughs> pick. Okay, Julie, will you please put your mic up to him? <laughs> it's just so good, I can't help it. I got my hands full. <laughs> ice pick vodka, eight times distilled, gluten free, easy to drink. We just came out last year. We started in Massachusetts uh, a month ago. So it's really starting to crank up for us. You know, Shipyard not just going with um, beer anymore. We're leaning into spirits. And we got a lot more to come in the whole spirits department as well. So keep, keep your eye out. Me. Purchase it up. I'm spiritually very happy right now. Yes. <laughs> we always have fun with you guys. Always have a great time at Ch with Shipyard and Dirty Water TV. We love working with you guys. We're going to keep it rolling and uh, we'll have something. You'll see us again in the fall. All right. Thank All you right. so much. Cheers. All right, Corinne. So Cheers. Wait, I got to cheers before we uh, do our famous tagline. Do you know yes. it, Jason? I think I've heard it once or twice. The weekend may be over, but the party oh, never no ends fun. with Dirty Water TV. <laughs> Dirty Water TV.